While Airbus announced the ending of the production of the A380, Boeing was celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Boeing 747, an aircraft still in production and most well known for its iconic hump. Since its first flight in 1969, Boeing has made over 1,500 747s and served as the main long-haul aircraft of the world's major airlines for much of the last few decades until the 1990s and the early 2000s. Like the Airbus A380, the Boeing 747 is now an aircraft out of its time. More fitting for the hub-and-spoke model, the shift to point-to-point travel and for long-haul routes and the demand for fuel-efficient aircraft has seen the 747 replaced by airlines in favor of the Boeing 777, the 787, and the Airbus A350. So in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the 747, and with uh, no announcement that the production will end soon, as airlines have been retiring the 747 since the early 2010s, i like to take this time with this video to discuss the current state of the 747 who flies 747 now, where to catch a ride on one if you aren't interested, and also the future of the production line of the 747. Now one third of the 747s produced has been retired or no longer in service. So there's about 500 747s in use by the airlines today and most of the carriers, including the US legacy carriers Delta and United have retired the 747 fleets. However, with the main airlines, there are still big commercial airlines operating the 747 such as British Airways KLM, Lufthansa, Qantas with British Airways being the largest operator of the aircraft with 34 747s and followed by KLM with 11. Keep in mind these numbers are for the passenger version of the aircraft and majority of the aircraft that are built currently in use are with cargo airlines which I will get to later on. Now airlines are slowly replacing the 747s with the modern fuel efficient jets but you can still catch the 747s at the major hubs of the airlines operating the 747 such as London, Amsterdam, Sydney, Frankfurt, Bangkok and Seoul and there's also other cities too that see these aircraft from several airlines such as Hong Kong, Tokyo Haneda, New York JFK just to name a few. Your best bet to catch on a 747 would most likely be on a European or Asia region as the airlines that still have them and operate them are in those areas. For those of you in North America, you should not really fret because there are still airlines such as British Airways operating flights with the 747 to key US cities such as Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles, just to name a few. Now with that said, we'll see the retirement of the 747 with more airlines, including those of the major operators. Among them are Israel's LL, which will be retiring the 747 next month in March, at the end of March actually, uh, after a Bangkok Tel Aviv flight. Qantas will then retire the aircraft in 2020, KLM will follow them the following year in 2021, Thai Airways in 2022, and British Airways will eventually retire their fleet scheduled for 2024. These retirement plans are for the older 747-400 aircraft. The three major airlines operating the 747-8s, the newer versions, are the Air China, Lufthansa, and Korean Air. These aircraft are mostly less than a decade old, so we'll see them flying out for maybe at least another 10 years or so, and probably would surpass the lifespan of the A380s right now. While Boeing's vision for the 7478 passenger version has not panned out. The aircraft manufacturer is now turning to the cargo operators to continue and sustain the 747 production. And right now, over half of the 747s in operations are actually freighters. The majority of these aircraft are 747-400s and the 7478s. And while there are a few older versions, the two um, newer versions are the ones that you see mostly in the area these days. Among the biggest operators of the cargo versions are Atlas Air with 25 747s, followed by Kalita Air, China Cargo, Cathay Cargo, and UPS. With the demand for air cargo, some of the airlines are looking into buying used 747-400s used for passenger version, turning in them and converting them into cargo versions. Compared to the cost of a brand new 747-8 freighter, which could go over 100 million, 
some of these used 747 conversions could go for around 10 million. Now, with these cargo airlines, there's opportunity for these older 747s that have been retired to be put back in service with a new lease in life. After Boeing has completed all the 747-8 passenger version deliveries, Boeing has very much self-admitted that they have conceded the passenger market for the 747 and their attention now is primarily to the cargo and the VIP versions of the aircraft. Production is expected to continue of the 747 with 24 unfulfilled orders, including 19 747-8 freighters to UPS. Right now, there isn't much of a demand for these large 747s or A380 type aircraft for the market right now. Though there could be someone out there or some folks out there could say that there's a long shot chance that there could be a resurgence in the demand for the passenger 747 or an A380 type aircraft. But right now, Boeing and Airbus seem to have given up for now on the large jets. While markets such as Asia where there is a larger growth in air travel demand, there isn't much high demand routes that would warrant having an, a large aircraft serving the route. And also airports in Asia such as, such as Singapore, Hong Kong, and Tokyo and Narita have, have plans or are currently expanding their infrastructure to including new runways to accommodate more planes. It makes sense for an aircraft to be big enough to carry enough cargo, but for most passengers there isn't much really of a care for how big of the aircraft provided the aircraft brings them to their destination. Now I want to ask if there's any opportunities for Boeing to market the 747. If you're planning to fly on a 747 soon, what airline and what route are you looking forward to taking a flight aboard the Queen of the Skies? I want to say to you thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.